All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is uh, Thursday, hold that thought, August 22nd, 2019. And honestly, honestly, we need to talk. Um, let's, uh, let's start off with the markets. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher, but the 2 to 10 is on the cusp of yet another inversion. Um, bigger than that, people, you know, I want to get this exactly right. So let me cover this. This is breaking. It just came out. Uh, give me a second to punch this up here. We're seeing a couple of very uh, disturbing dynamics occur here uh, with regard to the economy. Despite all the sunshine being blown up the crack of this market, here we go. I hate to say this because it's going to affect so many people. Two, two things. Number one, for the first time in a decade, the entire manufacturing sector here in the United States has contracted. And uh, according to Forbes, um, here we go, we're seeing a manufacturing exodus from the United States. We're not bringing back manufacturing, which was supposed to be the big plan. Look. This really shouldn't be a surprise to anyone uh, unless, again, you're in that delusional camp that thinks everything is just fine here. Our economy is in free fall. Free fall. Hence calls for deep rate cuts. Hence calls for more stimulus, quantitative e easing, dollar devaluation. I mean, you could go on and on. And it's getting getting coverage here on, on the mainstream financial channels, they can't spin it. Understand, a lot of these financial channels, their job is to blow sunshine up your crack and tell you everything is just fine. And it, it's not just fine. Um, again, what do they do? They parade out CEOs of corporations. They parade out all these people. They have to convince you to keep spending uh, because that's their livelihood. So look at the source, but understand what we have. We have an economic meltdown here in the United States, and it's very unfortunate um, that we cannot get the truth, not just from the president, okay? We understand that, again, to his credit, I'll give him it, yesterday he admitted, he admitted on international television before the world that, <laughs> yeah, the U.S. economy has the potential to take a hit in this trade war. Uh, you know, my hat still goes off to the president for that, believe me, and I know I'm going to take heat for that, but you know, you got to give credit where credit's due, but the man is a liar of truly beyond epic proportions, and he will not level with the American people. I honestly, people, listen to me, okay? I've said this so many times. Look, if our president would sit down and tell the American people the truth, where we are at, we would pull together as a people and and um and that would that would do s several things it would honestly begin to show us all that we are responsible for each other division would stop he needs to bring the people together and say listen we have problems markets run in cycles he will not tell you this the president will not explain to you that markets run in cycles they don't just go up forever remember during the campaign candidate trump was the man in my opinion, he explained what the Federal Reserve was doing to prop up the market to make Obama look good. He explained how the stock market was a big, fat, ugly bubble. I mean, you could go on and on, but all of it is gone. All he did was take Obama's playbook, dust it off, and inflate to the nth degree, uh, fostering the grand final solution of the central banks. I believe this when I say it. I know I'm going to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I think when the man or woman sits behind that oval, the, in the Oval Office, behind the Resolute Desk, this showed how it actually works. And um, we're going to see global synchronized easing. I mean, here we go. ECB, the European Central Bank, is already talking about it. Again, I outlined this a few months ago. This is not going to stop. The Federal Reserve is going to follow suit here. But the bottom line is we're in a disaster area. Our economy is a mess. And they're going to try to fist feed you that U3 number with regard to unemployment. Oh, we're at historic lows. And people are going to buy it. They're going to get fed with that spoon. Oh, oh yeah, the U3. They have no idea what the U6 is. 
which is the real number or close to the real number. They're being told that we have no inflation. Meanwhile, they shop. They're looking at the bond market. We're told there's no inversion. It didn't happen by Navarro, but it did. Uh, we had an inversion yesterday. We're on the cusp of another, of another one now. The bond market is screaming that there are huge problems coming down the pike, and we're being told by our president we're as, it's as good as it gets. It's the biggest lie since, I don't know whatever you want to think about. I, I have no idea. But the fact of the matter is, um, again, we have a manufacturing exodus, at least according to Forbes magazine and others. Look it up for yourself here from the United States. Uh, to completely backfired on the president. Uh, and I don't think it ever had a chance of working here because it's fake. The entire environment is fake being propped up on the back of a debt expansion cycle and the president's calling for more. More debt expansion. Does this sound like a good plan to you? I want to hear from you. I want to hear from Trump supporters. More specifically, do you believe that we need to expand the debt to infinity and that's going to fix all the problems? Do you believe that if we lowered the federal funds rate even 5%, that's going to stop the long end of the curve from dropping? Do you believe that's going to stop manufacturing and industrial production from falling off of a cliff, are you really that deluded? Or are you finally going to wake up? This is incredible. I mean, look, I'm going to read this again, because I find this very disturbing. Manufacturing sector contracts for the first time in a decade. Do you know how many people's jobs are going to get hurt because of that? It's unbelievable, people. But again, the illusion, the mask must be kept on. Before I let you go, Apple. I want to talk about Apple stock real quick. The president seems hell bent on supporting Apple stock. He's continuing his rhetoric, I got to do something for Apple. I got to support Apple. I, I don't understand why. I mean, yeah, I understand they employ a lot of people, but so does the whole entire manufacturing sector. Um, and that's what a lot of people are saying. Oh, Greg, excuse me. Oh, the president has to support Apple. <laughs> Because if they, they employ a lot of people. These are, again, the people that are unable to see at anything in front of their face. But the president should not be picking stocks. Moreover, did you hear what he's talking, what he's saying about Ford, an American icon, before the world? He's, sit down for this one. The president is, is, say, is calling out Ford for, number one, trying to produce cars that protect the environment by less emissions, and number two, producing cars that are more fuel efficient. He's actually, don't take my word for it. I, I swear to you, don't do it. Look it up for yourself. What kind of a satanic Luciferian worshiper, okay, would call out a uh, an American icon company before the world uh, because they're trying to produce cars that are good for the economy and are not fuel efficient? I don't know. Do you know another satanic Luciferian worshiper that would do the same thing? Because that's what President Trump is, in my view. He may actually be the Antichrist, and I'm not joking. I actually said this to Greg Hunter one time, and Greg Hunter blew his stack off at me. But it's the truth. Uh, people are being brainwashed by this guy, and this is unbelievable. I personally don't believe in the devil or an Antichrist. That's the truth. But uh, this is just too damn stupid, and I'm getting angry here. Uh, calling out an American icon for trying to produce good cars. Uh, you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because he has to support OPEC and the petrodollar. Wake the freak up, you mental midgets who don't see what's going on in front of you. If you don't like what I just said, please unsubscribe right now. It's so simple. Just hit the unsubscribe button. It's very easy. Uh, and please, I, I want you to do that. And go live in your delusional world and, or put on, slap on a diaper and go cry. Because that's what you need to do here. We have a liar, in, in, a liar and thief uh, sitting here in the White House uh, who's, who's causing a manufacturing and industrial production freefall in the United States, calling for massive debt expansion, lying to the American people, and it won't stop. Okay, he did say the truth yesterday that our economy may take a hit because of the China trade war. I, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look, I don't give a damn, really. I tell you the truth, and I tell you how it is. If you don't like it, just go the freak away, because this guy don't care. Uh, and for those of you that do understand where we are, bravo, because you're not freaking brainwashed. Anyway, going back to Apple real quick. 
Bye, Apple.